Ladies and gentlemen, I'm John Coombe, Senior Patrol Leader for Troop 145. May I ask you to stand for the presentation of our nation's flag. Troop, attention! Color Guards, forward march! Color guards, halt! Color guards, face the audience. Color guards, present the colors. True, red and salute one. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to our country's flag. Please place your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Parents, you may lower your right hand. Please remain standing for a moment. Troop study two. Troop, make the scout sign or repeat the scout oath and law. Scout sign one. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the scout law, to help other people at all times, keep myself physically strong, mentally awake and morally straight. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Troop, steady two. Color guards, post the colors. Color guards, dismissed. Please be seated. I now have the privilege to introduce Father Duan Huang, 
the administrator of St. Francis Xavier Chapel and Japanese Catholic Center, which has sponsored Troop 145 since its inception in 1925. Father wishes to welcome you personally and to begin our festivities with an opening prayer. Father Don? Yes. Thank you. Let us take a few moments in silence, raise our mind and heart to our Heavenly Father and join me with prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you this day thanking you for your abundance blessing. Lord, we ask you to join us in this celebration of Justin Ko, Jay Wong San, Richard Lee, attending the reign of the Eagle Scout. In this ceremony, Lord, to inspire vision and to increase the Troop 145 to follow in the eagle path. Help us give well-deserved praise and honor and to also realize that becoming an eagle scout is not so much a destination but a way of life. <coughs> We acknowledge your guidance in helping both scouts and leaders to work together to build leadership and appreciation of the outdoors. Even when we were unaware of your presence, Lord, you fought the hills and mountains. These young men have a hike and climb. Your hands form for lakes and oceans we swam. You know each animal and bland we have a watch with Gwanga and O. You protect us from elements, provided the food to cook and eat, and empower the fires that wounded us. Gwombos. You are the one who sharpens our minds every day to learn skills and facts, knots and first aid, how to lead and how to follow. Lord, continue to watch over Justin Ko, Ye Wong Son, Richard Lee, as they grow into the young man and give the leaders the patience and wisdom to guide them as well as the others eagles to be. In your precious son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Father Duan. The Troop 145 family thanks you for being with us this evening to celebrate the investiture of our three new Eagle Scouts. Since 1925, Troop 145 has followed a quality scouting program that has guided and developed its youth with godly values, leading them to their future leadership in our communities. This commitment was possible because of the generous support that Troop 145 has received from you and many others throughout our 94 years of history. We especially recognize our Creator for His inspirations that made possible all we do and ask His blessings for your generosity. This evening, join us in recognizing and honoring our new Eagle Scouts by expressing our warm and joyous congratulations to our brother Scouts and their families. Thank you. Now, I have the privilege of introducing our Scoutmaster, Mr. James Hahn, for his greetings. Thank you, John. 
Welcome to Troop 145 94th <laughs> Court of Honor, honoring our new scouts, Eagle Scouts, Jae Son, Justin Ko, Richard Lee, and their families and guests. I hope this Court of Honor will help you better understand the scouting experience and its challenge and how it helps to develop youth to become proactive, caring, ethical leaders in our society. All the learning experience occurs in an environment of spiritual and mental discipline and fun, including camping, recreational outing, advancement counseling, leadership training, and volunteer community service work. Now please relax and enjoy the program which has been prepared for you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Han. The next part of the program will be led by Eric Kim, Troop Guide and Webmaster. Troop, attention! Fall out, assemble outside. I am honored to introduce the Eagle Scout candidates, their families. Please stand as you are introduced. I ask that the audience to withhold their applause until each Eagle Scout and his immediate family and guests have been introduced. Eagle Scout Jay Wan Sun, his parents and their guests. Thank you, please be seated. Eagle Scout Justin Ko, his parents and their guests. Thank you. Please be seated. Eagle Scout Richard Lee, his parents and their guests. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you all for being with us to celebrate this evening's very special occasion for you and the Eagle Scout candidates. Thank you again. Thank you, Eric. Now it is time to introduce the Scouts and Troop 145 to you. The advancement recognition will be conducted by Edward Song, Assistant Senior Patrol Leader. I have the privilege of announcing the cumulative advancement activities for the troops since the last Court of Honor. Two, four, march. <coughs> Two, left face. Daniel Amer, Life Scout, 21, 29 merit badges. Brendan Hahn, Star Scout. 34 merit badges. Andrew Joe, Potential Scout. Jun Chong, Scout. Brian Kim, Scout. Chan Young Kim, First Class Scout, 16 merit badges. Edwin Kim, Tenderfoot Scout, 7 merit badges. Eric Kim, Life Scout, 26 merit badges. Jacob Kim, Tenderfoot Scout, 6 merit badges. Joseph Kim, Life Scout, 21 merit badges. John Kum, Life Scout, 41 merit badges. Kyle Lee, Star Scout, 25 merit badges. Edward Song, Life Scout, 36 merit badges. Troop left face, troop dismissed. Thank you, Edward and Scouts. Before we have dinner, I ask Edwin Kim, Tenderfoot Scout, to lead us in grace, a tradition followed by the troop before all meals, always thankful to a generous creator.
Please prepare yourself the manner in which you are accustomed. Thank you, loving Creator, for watching over us during this past year and keeping us safe in all our activities. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts which you are about to receive from your bountiful grace. And let us be mindful of those who are not as fortunate as we, by committing to pray and to help with them whenever possible. Amen. Thank you, Edwin. Mrs. Wanjing Kim, Special Event Coordinator, will instruct us on how dinner will be served. Mrs. Kim? Dinner is ready. Please exit through the right front door of the auditorium, enter the next door on the left on the classroom. Our special guest will be the first in line, followed by the Eagle Scout and their families and guests, beginning with the J1 Swans family and guests, then Justin Cole families and guests, then Richard Lee family and guests. Lastly, Scout parents are next. Follow the scout. Thank you. Um, yeah, so you guys could like get ready for dinner now. So it's dinner time, right? Yeah. Okay. It's your day. I'll let you go. I'll let you go first. Now, I'd like to invite Daniel Amer, Kaminari Patrol Leader, to begin the Eagle Scout Ceremony. Daniel. I am Daniel Amer, Kaminari Patrol Leader. I have the privilege, privilege of hosting the Eagle Scout ceremony. I call on Joseph No, 2018 Eagle Scout, to begin this portion of the ceremony. Joseph? Ladies and gentlemen, I have the privilege of opening the Eagle Scout investiture ceremony. This is the highlight of evening's court of honor. The solemn ceremony begins with the recite recitation of the Eagle Scout rank requirements, which are as follows. One, be active in your troop and patrol for at least six months as a life scout. Two, demonstrate scout spirit by living the scout oath and scout law in everyday life. Three, earn a total of 21 merit badges, including first aid, citizenship in the community, citizenship in the nation, citizenship in the world, communications, personal fitness, emergency preparedness or life-saving, environmental science or sustainability, personal management, swimming or hiking or cycling, camping, cooking, and family life. Four, while, while a life scout, serve actively for a period of six months and warrant a following position of responsibility. Junior assistant scoutmaster, senior patrol leader, assistant senior patrol leader, patrol leader, troop guide, order of the arrow troop representative, 
then chief, scribe, librarian, historian, quartermaster, chaplain's aide, webmaster, or instructor. Five, while a life scout, plan, develop, and give leadership to others in a service project helpful to any religious institution, any school, or a community. The project idea must be approved by the organization benefiting from the effort, your scoutmaster and troop committee, and the council or district before you start. Six, take part in a scoutmaster conference and successfully complete an Eagle Scout character board held by district. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. The personal history of our Eagle Scout candidate, Che Won Son, will now be presented by Kyle Lee, a Star Scout. Good evening. J1 started scouting in the summer of 8th grade. While J1 started scouting later than most scouts, he was able to achieve the rank of Eagle Scout with the help of his fellow adult leaders and scouts. J1 was introduced to scouting through his friends and instantly fell in love with scouting. When J1 showed up to his first meeting, he was met with an older scout who was screaming and counting the number of push-ups. That older scout was senior patrol leader Richard King. J1 was shocked by the amount of discipline the group of kids had, especially his friends. He saw a new side of everyone that he previously did not know about and learned, and learned how mature they were when they needed to be. J1 wanted to be part of this new process that his friends were going through. While most scouts were off having fun during summer camps, J1 had to catch up to the kids that started earlier than him. J1 hated how he had to sit down every day during a one-week summer camp doing packet work with Mr. Takahashi, but, he, but still continued to finish what he had started. J1's scouting experience was very different than that of most scouts. While most scouts were taking things slowly and having fun doing their requirements, he had to finish quickly. Being a year older than his fellow class and starting scouting late, there was no time to slack off. J1 enjoyed scouting so much that he went to meetings on Fridays by himself while his parents were working long hours. While J1 wasn't the best example at some times, he tried his best to influence the younger scouts to become more patient with others and tried to make them look at others through their own perspectives. He was influenced by those who were senior patrol leaders and tries to bring the good out of everyone and continues to do so because of Boy Scouts. J1 loved scouting and the maturity it instilled in him. He became the person that he is today through scouting and will always be forever grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. The personal history of our Eagle Scout candidate, Justin Coe, will now be presented by Joseph Kim, a life scout. <clears throat> Good evening. Justin Coe joined the Boy Scouts when he was in the fourth grade. It provided him the opportunity to get to the outdoors and experience what he had oh, what he had never done before. He went whitewater rafting, backpacking, and spent many days and nights away from home, camping in the outdoors. Scouting was the reason he can say he knows how to perform lashings and basic first aid. As a Star Scout, he attended the National Youth Leadership Training Program and learned about how to be a leader, <clears throat> how a team forms, and how a team starts to work together. But learning and following was only half the scouting experience. Now, he was ready to use this knowledge to help other scouts. When he joined Troop 145, he was given the opportunity to experience the other half of scouting, applying, teaching, and leading. His first year in the troop, he was a quartermaster, helping organize and, organize and preparing equipment for campouts. The job was tough as he worked with his fellow scouts for many hours during the meetings. The group had the success of a camping, camp out weighing on their shoulders. The next year, he became a patrol leader and taught the skills he had learned to the scouts entering the troop. 
The new scout patrol that he helped help scouts better adjust to the activities and atmospheres of the troop before they became a part of a regular patrol. As a senior patrol leader, Justin oversaw the majority of the functions of the troop, but it was here he learned that no amount of book learning would allow him to perform effectively as a leader. It was a process of trial and error. Ultimately, he had a group of 40 boys on a week-long camp over the summer and eventually went on to become an Eagle Scout. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. The personal history of our Eagle Scout candidate, Richard Lee, will now be presented by Brendan Hahn, a Star Scout. Good evening. Richard attended his first Troop 145 meeting during the summer going into seventh grade. He honestly had no idea what to expect and frankly was excited. His mother just gave him the offer and he was the one that said yes. Surprising, right? Richard walked upstairs above the kitchen where the meeting used to take place and saw around 15 boys his age and older, some being familiar faces who was Timothy Kim as the senior patrol leader, and he was the first to greet Richard with the handshake. He did the snake greeting thing we do when we always have someone new, and he was put into common eye patrol with Matthew Sin as patrol leader and Justin Ju as assistant patrol leader. From then on, he just kept coming because of the brotherly vibe and also did not have anything else to do at the time. Luckily, he was able to go to summer camp just a month later at Camp Fiesta Island, and it was very fun. He got closer with everyone, even the older scouts, and just experienced so many new things. The aesthetics of the outdoors, ocean sports, weird Boy Scout traditions and activities, everything. Additionally, he learned so many things about getting Eagle Scout and the prestige of that title from talking to the older scouts. Overall, Richard has gone to six summer camps, around 10 district camperies, and several troop campouts and outdoor activities. He has been a scribe twice, a quartermaster twice, assistant patrol leader, patrol leader, assistant senior patrol leader, and now a junior assistant scoutmaster. Six years have gone by incredibly fast for him, and the first day seems like yesterday. For him, Eagle Scout seemed like an impossible task but here he is at his own court of honor. For his last words, he just wants to say, stay having fun while on the journey to Eagle Scout and keep the brothers you made close. Thank you. Thank you, Brendan. Mr. Norm Kakawa will now give the report of the Eagle Scout character board. Mr. Kakawa is the Troop 145 Charter Organization representative of St. Francis Xavier Catholic Church. Hey, thank you, Daniel. <clears throat> well, just uh, I have a few words before I get to the formal part of my, my speech. Uh, these young men have been working very hard to uh, be where they are tonight. And uh, I'm personally very proud. I think our, our troop is, is very proud of uh, what they've achieved. Uh, you, you probably picked up the, a copy of the program when you came in, and you'll see uh, uh, the number of Eagle Scouts that uh, we've uh, uh, promoted through the years. And it is, uh, it's an enormous number for a troop our size. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that uh, only 2% uh, uh, of all scouts achieve the rank that these young men are going to receive. So uh, it's something very, very, pr um, an achievement that can be uh, very proud of. Anyway, let's see. So uh, each one of these gentlemen have uh, attended and gone through uh, uh, an Eagle Board review, and I think Every one of them, yeah. I think every one of them was very nervous, but uh, they did make it through. Uh, Eagle Scout J1 Sun uh, received his Eagle Scout Character Board of Review 
On May 15, 2018, Eagle Scout Justin Cole received his Eagle Character Board of Review on August 21, 2018. Uh, Eagle Scout Richard Lee received his Eagle Scout Character Board of Review on November 13, 2018. All three Eagle Scout Character Boards were conducted through the North Star District of the Greater Los Angeles Area Council of the Boy Scouts of America. The Char Character Review Board found them qualified and recommended to the national headquarters in Irving, Texas to confer the rank and insignia of an Eagle Scout upon them. The National Court of Honor Committee also considered their applications and confers the rank of Eagle Scout. This rank to be presented at a proper place and ceremony which we now are celebrating. They, all three, join an elite corps of 2% of all scouts who become Eagle Scouts. Thank you. John Kuhn, Senior Patrol Leader, will begin the investiture ceremony. John? Now, I like, oh. <clears throat> I will begin the Eagle Scout investiture ceremony by administering a reaffirmation of the Scout oath and law to the Eagle Scout candidates. Before we begin, I ask all Eagle Scouts in the audience to stand and join our Eagle Scout candidates in their reaffirmation of the Scout oath and law. Eagle Scout candidates and all present Eagle Scouts, attention. Scout sign one, repeat the Scout oath and law. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout law to help other people at all times, keep myself physically strong, mentally awake and morally straight. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Study two. Candidates, please remain standing. Everyone else, please be seated. Leadership Corp will now seal the attainment of the Eagle Scout rank with the conferring of the Eagle Scout neckerchief. Now, parents will present an Eagle Scout. Now, parents will present an Eagle Scout medal to their sons, and Eagle Scout will represent replicas to their parents. For Eagle Scout J1 Sun, the parents of Eagle Scout J1 Sun, please proceed onto the stage.
Please return to your seat. For Eagle Scout Justin Coe, the parents of Eagle Scout Justin Coe, please proceed onto the stage. Turn to your seat. For Eagle Scout Richard Lee, the parents of Eagle Scout Richard Lee, please proceed onto the stage. Attention to our new Eagle Scouts. Troop, right hand salute one. Eagle Scouts, right hand salute one. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our 2019 Eagle Scouts of Troop 145. Please give a big round of applause to our new Eagle Scouts. Now, I ask Alex King, 2017 Eagle Scout, to give the Eagle Charge to Eagle Scouts. <laughs> Alex, please proceed. Good evening. Eagle Scouts, attention. I have the privilege of giving you the Eagle Scout charge on the occasion of your elevation to the highest rank in scouting. The Boy Scouts of all nations constitute one of the most meaningful and significant movements in the world's history, and you have been counted worthy of the high rank in its membership. All who know you rejoice in your achievement. Your position, as you well know, is one of honor and responsibility. You are a marked man. As an Eagle Scout, you assume a solemn obligation to do your duty to God, to country, to fellow Scouts, and to humanity. This is a great undertaking. As you live up to your obligations, you bring honor to yourselves and your brother Scouts. When you fail, you bring down by so much the good name of all true worthy Scouts. I know that you will always remember to bring honor to your family, your community, and your troop. God bless you. 
Congratulations and my best wishes for your future. Let's give our Eagle Scouts and their parents a big hand. It is well deserved. Eagle Scouts, please be seated. Thank you, Alex. This concludes the formal Eagle Scout ceremony. Now it will be our Eagle Scouts' turn to speak to us. Jay Wan Sun, I invite you to begin, then Justin Ko and Richard Lee will follow. Good evening. I want to thank all of you guys for coming out to our Eagle Scout ceremony today. Scouting has changed me to who I am today, and I want to thank everyone that supported on my journey to adulthood, especially to my parents who worked long hours to support me financially and emotionally. I want to thank all the adult leaders, Mr. Han, Ms. King, Mr. Kakawa, Mr. Izumihara, and Mr. Takahashi for helping me develop into an empathetic and patient person that I am today. To all scouts, I want to thank you guys for setting this ceremony up for hours to make this as perfect as it can be. I want to thank you guys for being my second family and being there when I needed you guys the most. While we lost more than half of our troop a half a year ago, I want to remind you guys that other people's decisions shouldn't define who you are as a person. Trust your leaders and you will be guided to a successful future. Although we are going through some hardships as a troop right now, this event right here will help you endure many hardships that you guys will face, whether that is in school or in your future occupation. I want to thank, again, everyone who has attended this ceremony. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Justin Ko, and I just wanted to start off by thanking everyone for coming to this ceremony to celebrate the achievement of the Scouts. Special thanks to Mr. Han for everything that he's done for me during my time at Troop 145, for providing me leadership opportunities, guiding me through them, and helping me through the equal process, and so much more. I'd like to thank my parents for being there every step of the eight-year journey and giving me the final push towards the Eagle rank. Thanks to the Scouts for coming to meetings and the activities, and I hope each and every one of the Scouts here has the opportunity to stand where I am today. Finally, I'd like to thank everyone else who's helped me along the way. So I wanted to give a few words of advice to our Scouts here. So don't forget, all of you, that the boys next to you are your brothers in scouting, and the troop is like your family. Like in your family, there will be conflicts, but you have to work around them. If something happens, don't be afraid to talk to each other, especially younger scouts to the older scouts, but be respectful. The leaders are doing what they can for you. Older scouts, I know that this troop takes the phrase, it is better to be feared than love to heart, but learn to balance the two. In my, in my experience, a scout that is too far on either side is difficult to control. Being a leader is hard, I know, but there's nothing that I or any other scout can tell you that will instantly make you a better leader. It's a process of trial and error, and you'll develop your own leadership style. With that being said, lead them well. These boys are the future of the troop. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out to our Court of Honor. It tr truly means a lot to us. I'd like to thank my mom and dad, uh, because without them, I wouldn't be on this stage. Um, 
uh, my mom for doing everything like in the kitchens and in the scenes and my dad driving and such. I also want to thank the other parents as they do so many things for us Boy Scouts that we don't even know about. And next, I would like to thank my friends and siblings for attending as they do so many things for me that I am truly grateful for. I would next like to thank the adult leaders, uh, Mr. Han, uh, Mr. Kakawa, uh, Mr. Izumi Haraz, um, the late Mr. Takahashi, and his king for being the best mentors and advisors. Next, I'd like to thank the scouts and my past SPOs and POs that taught me everything I know. Scouting has taught me so many unforgettable things that has truly been life-changing. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Eagle Scouts. With the closure of another momentous Eagle Scout ceremony, our Scoutmaster, Mr. Han, will give his parting words as we end the 2019 Troop 145 Court of Honor. Mr. Han? Ladies and gentlemen, as we close our 94th Code of Honor, may I extend our greatest appreciation on behalf of the entire Troop 145 family to all those who are being here in this event. I appreciate our Troop Parent Committee members, scouts, and parents who put their times and efforts and work together to prepare this Code of Honor and make this event successful. We, Troop 145, especially thank our Eagle Scout parents for their enthusiastic support and contribution. We hope to see you again at our next Troop 145 Eagle Scout Call of Honor. Thank you, and may our Lord bless you and your family always. Our Senior Patrol Leader, John Kum, will conduct the closing ceremony. John. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our 94th Troop 145 Eagle Scout Court of Honor. Our special thanks to you all and again to the Eagle Scouts their families, and their guests. Thank you. Please stand for the closing flag ceremony. <clears throat> True attention! True, right absolute one. Color guards, retrieve the colors. Stay two. Good night, everyone. We will gather again in this coming fall for another Eagle Scout Court of Honor. See you then. Please drive home safely, and God bless you all. Thank you.
전체 다 찍고 패밀리 할까요? 자, 전체 사진 먼저 찍고 나서 패밀리 사진 찍겠습니다. 그러니까 지금 다 올라가세요. 그리고 아, 어, Scouts, bring your chairs up there. All, bring all your chairs up on the stage. Yeah. 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 Yeah.